so let us see problem related to uh, mesh. But before I start talking about problem related to mesh, I would like uh, to talk with you about uh, what is the meaning of uh, super mesh. So we started before uh, super, what we call super nodes, and we said for super nodes, Super node means I have two different nodes and in between there is voltage source. At that time, I could lock to that node, these two nodes as super node and I can solve the problem. What about if I forgot? There is no problem. Why? Because you will assume a known current in the branch that has voltage source and you will write two equations and you will realize that these two equations could be one equation. So there is no problem at all if you forgot. Now we will talk about super mesh. Super mesh means what? Means if we have a circuit like this one, Imagine I have a current source and I have voltage here. Its values V and I have R1, I have R2, I have R3, and there is a current source here. Its name is whichever I. Now I would like to use mesh for finding the current in each branch. What am I going to do? I'm going to say Summation, the voltage for this mesh is equal to zero. Summation, the voltage for this mesh is equal to zero. Am I right? And I'm going to assume current here. Its name is I1. And I'm going to assume current in this guy. Its name is I2. Then, if you would like to say summation, the voltage here is equal to zero. You will say, I have this voltage. I have this voltage. What about this guy? Do we have do we have this voltage? So what should I do? I will assume it. So if I would like to write the voltage for this loop, I'll say or for this mesh summation, the voltage for this mesh is equal to zero. So if this current is I1. And I will say summation, the voltage for mesh one is equal to zero. At that time, I have V minus I1 R1 minus equal zero, the voltage between these two points. I don't know this voltage. I'll call it, for example, VA because I don't know this voltage. So I'm going to assume it, for example, VA. Now, I will have VA here. Did I ask you to calculate VA? The answer is no. OK, I will repeat the same story. Summation, the voltage for this mesh is equal to zero. So this current will be I2. So summation V is equal to zero for mesh two. So I have, for example, VA. If this is the current, I'll have positive, negative. I'll have positive, negative. So I can say VA minus I2 multiplied by R, whichever name two and three. Is it right? Now I have two equations in how many unknowns? And three unknowns. I need one more equation. What is that? In the middle branch, this guy is I1, 
and this guy is I2, and I is following I1 or I2. So I can say I is equal to I2 minus I1, right? So I can say I is equal to I2 minus I1. This is the third equation. This is equation one. This is equation two. This is equation three. But if you try to go back to the above two equations, one and two, I can substitute by VE from equation one into equation two or vice versa. And I can cancel VA from one of the equations and VA is function of these two equations only. It's not function of this equation, so I can cancel or remove one of the unknowns, which is better to minimize the number of unknowns since I didn't ask you about that voltage. So if I substituted by VA equals I2 R2 plus R3 in equation one, I can say from equation one and two, I can say V minus I1 R1 minus VA, but V is equal to I2 R2 plus R3 from equation two. So minus I2 multiplied by R1, sorry, R2 plus R3. This guy is equal to zero. Am I right? Then I have two equations, equation three and this equation. I can solve them for finding the required I1 and the required I2. But if you try to go back to look to this problem, I can reach to this equation from the beginning by talking about Are you seeing? I'd like to, to show you that. OK. If you try to go back to. The circuit and the equation, so we can say summation, the voltage is equal to zero for that. Mesh or that loop. Am I right? And this is what we are calling super mesh. Super mesh means I have two mesh like those. And in between. There is a current source. They are sharing current source between them. There is no need to say submission. The voltage here is equal to zero and submission. The voltage there is equal to zero. I can say summation, the voltage for that super mesh is equal to zero. Let us write the equation. V minus I1 R1 minus I2 R2 minus I2 R3, which is this equation. So instead of saying summation, the voltage for this guy is equal to zero, Summation the voltage for this guy is equal to zero. I can say summation the voltage for the super mesh is equal to zero. This will simplify it more. But what's going to happen if I forgot that there is a super mesh? Nothing. That's okay. Everything is acceptable. But what's going to happen? You will write two extra steps. It's okay. No problem. Like two minutes. That's okay. Two extra minutes I need for writing these two equations. But if I realized, it will be better because at that time I would say summation the voltage for the super mesh is equal to zero. But if I forgot, no problem. Again, what is the meaning of super mesh? I have two different mesh in between. They are sharing a current source, not voltage source, a current source. So let us remember what I said for node voltage method. What is the meaning of super nodes? Super node means I have two different nodes and in between there is a voltage source. A super mesh means I have two mesh and in between they are sharing a current source. 
OK, so why do we use node voltage method? To calculate the voltage for each node. Why do we use mesh loop method? Or we are, we are calling it mesh, mesh method or mesh analysis or mesh current methods. Why we are using mesh current method to calculate the current. That's why if we have super mesh, we have current source in between two mesh. Because we are calculating the current. We are using it to calculate the current. Okay, guys, pay your attention to that. I'm using mesh method to calculate the current. A node voltage method to calculate the voltage. Both of them could be used for solving the problem. The only difference is, in case of node voltage method, I'm finding the voltage first. And then based on the voltage, I can calculate the current. And in mesh current method, I am calculating the current first. And based on the current in each branch, I could calculate the voltage. Any question? For super mesh, I'll show you example right now. Any question, guys? Yes. It doesn't matter if it is dependent or independent. At the end, it is current source. Yes. Because I is following I2 and it is opposite to I1. Or if you got lost, you can say summation, the current for that node is equal to zero. So this current is hitting the nodes and this current is leaving and this current is hitting. So I can say I1 plus I equals I2, which means I equals I2 minus I1. So if you got lost for the current, say summation, the current for that node is equal to zero. Any question? Yes. I said for super mesh, there should be current source in the branch connected between two different mesh. For the nodal analysis, super node means I have two different nodes and in between there is a voltage source. Okay. Any other question? Now let us see example, which is talking about that story. Example, imagine we have that circuit. And we have resistor here. This guy is six ohms. This guy is three ohms. This guy is nine ohms. This guy is 12. And this is 1.5 amps. He is asking you solve using mesh method to calculate I1 and I2. This is I1. And this is I2. So I'm going to say submission the current for each mesh is equal to zero. Do we have super mesh? Yes. Do you like to use super mesh or say submission the voltage for each mesh is equal to zero? As you like, it doesn't matter. Okay. Let us use the super mesh. So this current is I1. What is this current? In nine ohms. It is I1 as well. What is this current? It's I2. What about the current here? My friend who asked me about the direction. Could you please let me know the current here? Is it I1 minus I2 or I2 minus I1? Yes, who asked me about the direction? I don't remember your name. Uh, yes, you. 
since this current is in the direction of I1, I can say I1 minus I2. If I got lost, I will say submission the current for this node is equal to zero. So I can say I1 minus I2 is equal to 1.5. Then I will say summation V is equal to zero for super mesh. For the super mesh, what I have, I have this guy. So I can say 12 minus 9i1 minus 3i2 minus 6i2 should be equal to 0. Then I have this equation 1 and I have this equation 2. I will solve these two equations together. Solve equation 1 and 2. Then you will find that I1 should be equal to 1.417 amps and I2 should be equal to negative 83.3 uh, milliamps. What's going to happen if I didn't realize the super mesh? Nothing. I will write equation for this guy and I will write another equation for this guy. The only extra steps. I will write two equations. One for this mesh, one for this mesh, and I will write voltage between these two points. I'll call it V current source, for example. And then I will substitute from one to another like what we did here. Do you like me to repeat writing these two equations or you know them? That's OK, you know them, right? OK, let us see another problem, but it is more complicated a little bit. So. Imagine we have circuit like this one. This guy is 4.3 ID and this guy is 2.25 ohms and this guy is 10 ohms and we have here this guy is 200 volts and this guy is 10 ohms this guy is 50 ohms this is 100 and i think that's it yeah i would like to copy this circuit because i'm going to re solve the problem again using different methods okay let us see what he is asking about. He is saying solve the following problem to calculate the current in each branch. using part A, mesh current method, part B, node voltage method. So he is asking you to solve this problem two times for calculating the current in each branch. The first one is to use mesh method, and the second one is to use node voltage method. Let us see the first case. Here, 
He gave me that current, which is 4.3 ID. This current is 4.3 ID. Now, one second. Do you remember this current was I1? And this current was I1 and this current was I2, right? What is this current? It is 1.5. It is defined as I1 minus I2. Am I right? Its direction was down. For this one, this current is I1, this current is I2, and we said that I, which is this guy, is equal to I2 minus I1. So this guy is I2 minus I1. Or in other words, I can say I2 is equal to I plus I1. Can I say that? Can I say here I2 is equal to I plus I1? Let us go back to this problem. This current is I1. This current is I. And this is super mesh. So the current in this in, in this branch is equal to the summation of those. Am I right? The current in this guy is equal to the summation of those two. Am I right or wrong? Let us do the same here. If this guy is 4.3 ID, and I assume that this current is I2, what is this current? Or what is this current? It will be I2 plus 4.3 ID, like what we did here. If this guy is I1 and this guy is I, so this current is the summation. Or if I got lost, I can say summation the current for this node is equal to zero. So I can say this current is equal to I2 plus 4.3 ID. Okay, this current is I2. This current is I2. Now, what about the current here in this guy? I call it, for example, I1. Anything. So what is the current in this guy? I1. What about the current in this range? Just one second. What is the current in this guy? Actually, this guy is I2 and this guy is I1. So if you assumed the current here is in that direction, it will be I1 minus I2 or I2 minus I1. It will be I1 minus I2. He gave me this current is ID. It's given. He told me this is ID. And this guy is 4.3 ID. Now, let us talk about this branch. What is the current in this branch? Excuse me. For example, I will assume that the current in this guy is in that direction. For example, I1 minus I2 minus 4.3 ID. Is it right? Yes, because if this guy is I1 minus I2, part of it will be 4.3 ID. So what is left will be here will be this minus this. Okay, guys, or this guy is sharing this mesh and this mesh. Right? And it is in the same direction of I1, but it is an opposite direction to I2 plus 4.3 ID. So it is the difference between this guy and this guy. Because the current for this mesh is I2 plus 4.3 ID. If you got lost, you can say submission the current for each node is equal to zero. That's okay. But it is not hard. The current for the common branch between two mesh is equal to the difference. If 
you are following the rules for mesh. All currents are, are clockwise or anti-clockwise in all loops. At that time, for any branch, the, the branch current, if it is sharing two different loops, it is the difference between the loops currents. Are you seeing what I'm talking about, guys? Now, let us say summation of the voltage for each loop is equal to zero or for each mesh is equal to zero. But I have to ask myself the question, how many mesh do we have? I have actually three, which is this guy and this guy and this guy, right? So I will say summation of the voltage for this guy is equal to zero. Summation of the voltage for this guy is equal to zero. Summation of the voltage for this guy is equal to zero. But just one second. We have current source here. So what do you like? Do you like to assume the voltage for this current source is V or use super mesh? As you like, it doesn't matter for me. So use super mesh. So I will say summation, the voltage for the super mesh is equal to zero. What is the super mesh? We are talking about this guy. You are seeing it? You are not seeing? We are talking about this, 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 this. And we have this one, which is mesh, for example, number one. So I'm going to say summation V, solution part A, summation V is equal to zero for mesh one. I have 200. Minus 25 ID, or I don't like to write it ID. I will write it I1 minus I2. I1 minus I2. Minus 50 multiplied by I1 minus I2 minus 4.3 ID minus this guy, which is 10 times I1 equals zero. If you try to use, if you try to use, what happens? Smooth. So I will erase this guy and I will rewrite it again. Okay, it's not moving. <laughs> okay, it's playing with me. <laughs> it's playing. Actually, it is frozen. So. <laughs> It's not seeing it, but let me save it first. And then see. Yeah, it works now. So 25. 25 times I said uh, I1 minus I2. Minus 50 times I1 minus I2 minus 4.3. I think it is right. Any question for that loop or for that mesh? Yes. Yeah, because this is the current in this guy. You mean substitute this guy by I1 minus I2? Yes, this is what I'm going to do for the next step. Yeah. So here, this is ID. He is asking me, can can we replace ID by I1 minus I2? Yes. To minimize the number of the equations. So what am I going to do is I'm going to substitute this guy by I1 minus I2. Then what is the next step? I will say summation the voltage for the super mesh is equal to zero. This guy. 
this is super mesh. If you try to say summation V is equal to zero for the super mesh, I can say the voltage across this guy and the voltage across this guy and the voltage across this guy and the voltage across this guy, their summation is equal to zero. If you try to do that, you will find that negative, I think it is easy to do it, I2 multiply it by 10 plus 100 plus 25 minus 4.3 I D again, this guy is I1 minus I2. Multiply it by 100 plus 50 plus I1. This guy multiply it by 25 plus 50 equals zero. Then try to solve these two equations in these two unknowns to find I1 and I2. In the notes, I show with you how to do that. The above equations, you will realize that I1 should be equal to 4.6 and I2 should be equal to 5.7. Once you calculated I1 and I2, everything else will be very easy. I asked you to calculate the current in each branch. You have already calculated I1 and calculated I2. So the difference between I1 and I2 is ID. I can find it. So I can say ID is equal to the difference between I1 and I2, which is equal to 4.6 minus 5.7. You can calculate that guy. And also, I think it is negative 1.1 amps. You can calculate the current where? You can calculate the current here in 100 ohms which is equal to I2 plus 4.3 ID. So I can say the current in 100 ohms equals I2 plus 4.3 ID. So if you try to calculate this guy, it is equal to 0.97 amps. Everything else will be very easy. I calculated this, I calculated this, I calculated this, I calculated this. This is left I50. I50 is I1 minus I2 minus 4.3. So I50 is I1 minus I2 minus 4.3 ID. Is it right? Yes. You can calculate this current as well. Yes. Just one second. If there is a resistor where? Here. This one. You will not find resistor connected in series with current source. Generally speaking, the meaning of current source resistor connected in parallel. If I'm going to connect resistor with a current source, it should be connected in parallel. For the voltage source, yes. The, we could connect resistor in series, but for the current source, no, we couldn't connect resistor in series. Any question for that prop? Yes. Excuse me. Yes. 50 connected where? For the super node, I have this voltage, I have this voltage, I have this voltage, I have this voltage. If you try to find these. Yes, I, I wrote you the simplified equation. I didn't try how to find it because you can find it. This voltage, this voltage, this voltage, this voltage. At the end, you will reach to that equation. OK. Any other question, guys? Yes. How did I reach I1 minus I? He told me that this current is ID. And this mesh current is I2 and this mesh current is I1. So the difference between them will be this current. 
Now he asked me to repeat solving the problem using node voltage methods. So he would like me. Yes. We were. Yeah. He asked me to repeat solving the problem using node voltage methods. So do we still have time? Or you have to, to leave immediately at 1125? You have to leave? OK, so I'll be very quick. Did you finish? Now he asked me to repeat solving the problem using node voltage method. So I'm going to connect one of my nodes to the ground. How many nodes do we have? I'm going to choose this guy to be grounded. For example, so its voltage is zero. The voltage for that node is zero. Do we know the voltage for this node? It is the voltage for this node. I have 200 volts, so the voltage for this node is equal to. OK, I was waiting for someone to say 200. Which is totally wrong. Why? Because of this resistor. So I don't know the voltage for that node. I'm going to assume it, which is, for example, VE. If the voltage for that node is VE, what is the voltage for that node? VA minus 200. Why VA minus 200? Because of negative sign here. The difference between this and this voltage is 200. And this guy is less than this guy by 200. What about the voltage for this node? Is it given? It is another voltage, for example, VC, and this voltage, for example, VB. Then I'm going to say summation, the current for each node is equal to zero. Summation current for node A is equal to zero. For node A, I have this current, this current, this current. I can say VB minus VA over 10. Oh, OK, so I'll, yes, you are right. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm talking about this node. I have this current, this current, this current. This current is VA minus VB over 10. Plus, this current is VA minus VC over 25 plus this current is VA minus VA minus 200 over. You, you are not dealing uh, with that part in that way. Why? Because you don't know the resistance for that guy. So you couldn't say VA minus VA minus 200. No. What is the resistance that you are going to divide by? So I'm going to find the current here, which is the same like the current here. So the current in this guy is. Yes, VA. Minus 200 over 10. This is very, very important. These are simple mistakes. Many of you. Are making these mistakes during the midterms and the final. Yes, very quick, please. Yeah. This current. Yeah, it is. It is the current in this branch. The current in this branch is VA minus VC over 25. The current in this branch is VA minus VB over 10. The current in this branch is VA minus 200 over 10. OK. I'll talk with you after I complete it because everybody would like to go. You can come to me. OK. So summation the current for this guy is equal to zero, which is node B. So summation I is equal to zero for nodes B. At that time, I have VB minus VA over 10 plus VB minus zero over 100 minus 4.3 IB. Am I right? Last equation, which is summation, the current here is equal to zero. So. Summation 
i is equal to zero for node c. For node c, I have vc minus va over 25 plus vc minus zero over 50. This guy is 50. And we have also the current here, which is positive 4.3 ID. Equals zero. How many equations? Three. And how many unknowns? Four. I need one more equation. He told me that the current here is ID. So I can say ID, the last equation, is equal to VA minus VC over 25. If you try to solve these all equations, you will find VA, VB, and VC. If you found VA, it is equal to 154 volt. If you found VB, it is equal to 97 volt. If you found VC, it is equal to 181.5 volt. Don't forget, if you calculated all of these voltage values, it's very, very easy to calculate the current because the current here will be VA minus VB over 10. The current in this guy will be VA minus VC over 25. The current in this guy, VA minus 200 over 10. The current in this guy, VB minus 0 over 100. Any question, guys? I'm sorry for being, uh, for talking about that very quick because you have a class after that. But next week, I repeat talking about that problem if you want. Uh, and if you have any question, I'll talk about it again uh, on Saturday. Uh, so I'll I'll be here if you have any question. Uh, have a great weekend.